This is the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, keeping you informed about the happenings in Annapolis and the area. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and of course, local weather. The Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Thursday, January 2nd, 2020. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Happy New Year to all. I hope you had a safe and very happy New Year. Welcome to 2020. The Annapolis Police Department's investigating a terrifying incident that happened in the 200 block of Kroll Drive on the 30th. At about 7 p.m., a couple was sitting in a parked car in the 200 block of Kroll Drive when the vehicle was surrounded by about seven male suspects. Two of them had handguns. One of them had a long gun. They ordered the victims out of the car. They went through the male victim's pockets and also began beating him. He was able to flee to a nearby residence to call for help. When police did arrive, they found that the vehicle had been stolen. It was located unoccupied on Mini Court, which is just sort of around the corner from Kroll Drive, and no suspects were located. Absolutely terrifying. Crime, unfortunately, is everywhere. And if you are curious about crime in 2019... You want to go check out ionanapolis.net. We put a sticky post up there, which basically means it's going to stay to the front page for a little bit. And that has our 2019 interactive Google map on crime. You can zoom right into your town, your neighborhood, or actually your street and see exactly what crimes were committed and what crimes were reported to us by the police departments of Anne Arundel County as well as Annapolis City. It also does have some fire incidents as well. Well, we've got about six more days and Maryland's General Assembly is going to come back in for a new session. So enjoy the next six days without all the pesky lawmakers running around on the streets. January 8th does start the new session and it will be the first one with new leadership in several decades. House of Delegates and the Senate both have new leaders with the death last year of Speaker of the House Mike Bush, as well as the resignation of Senate President Mike Miller. You can look for the hot topics this year to be the funding for the Kerwin Commission for Education. They need to figure out how to fund all that. And likely another hot topic will be what to do about vaping. Something that was decided last year is that everybody that is working for $10.10 an hour will now be making $11 an hour. Yes, you did get a $0.90 raise overnight. This is in the March to $15 for minimum wage. That will be phased in over six years. But the first required increase for every business started yesterday, bringing the minimum wage to $11 in Maryland. Hey, this is a fantastic program that Maryland just released, and actually it is the first in the nation, and it's a statewide program called Senior Call Check. Seems pretty obvious, but what it is, it is an automated calling system to check on the well-being of seniors in our state. If you have a loved one in Maryland and you need to check on them, have them sign up for this. The program is free of charge to anyone 65 and older. What happens is you set up a specific time that you want to be called and the machine will call you. If there is no answer, it will call you again. And if there's no answer a second time, it will call you a third time. If they don't get an answer on the third time, they will call your designated family member or friend asking them to check on you. If they are unable to reach any of your designated friends or family members to reach you, well, Then they forward it over to law enforcement who will swing by for a well-being check. I think this is a fantastic program that's been instituted by the state of Maryland. And I do encourage anybody that's 65 and older to check it out and sign up. You can find out more information at aging.maryland.gov. And here's a great story out of Anne Arundel County. Christmas came early to a small hospice in South Africa when $2,000 worth of basic medical supplies were sent to them. What's this have to do with Anne Arundel County? Well, Medicine with a Mission is based and founded here in Anne Arundel County. And what they do is they provide needed medical supplies to underserved and third world countries. The kits that they sent down there will allow the hospice to provide care, which has been impossible due to the healthcare system of South Africa, which is falling apart. Medicine with a Mission, as I said, is a nonprofit based in Anne Arundel County. It was founded in 2016 by Dr. Joshua Carlson, Margot Cook, and local philanthropist Gene Deems. They've also donated more than $400,000 worth of surgical supplies and equipment to the Ministry of Health's hospital in Grenada. Essentially, in the United States, our medical system wastes and throws away an awful lot of unused medical equipment. For instance, if you go in for a filling, your dentist may have a whole tray full of pokers and sutures and all of that kind of stuff, but may only use one tool. The rest are thrown out because of the regulations we have here in the United States. 
Medicine with a mission reclaims them and is able to repurpose them for other parts of the world that need the help. Additionally, the United States is very quick to make things expire. We see that in our food, certainly. And again, this is another area where Medicine with a Mission can identify medical supplies that may have expired here in the United States, but still have a very good shelf life, and they can be shipped overseas to help other people in the world. Great idea, great organization, and you can learn more about it at medicinewithamission.org. And that's all spelled out. Again, medicinewithamission.org. And I say good job on Dr. Carlson, Margot Cook, and Gene Deems. All right, that wraps it up for the news today. Please make sure you're checking out ionanapolis.net throughout the day because we do update it throughout the day. We will have stories that will come in. If you're someplace where you can give us a rating or a review, please do that as well. It's Thursday. We have Trevor with your Annapolis Makerspace Maker Minutes. And like we have every day, George Young is standing by with your local DMV weather forecast. And he's coming up in just one minute. Hey, Annapolis, Eastern Shore, and Anne Arundel County. My name is Rick Peters, and I'm the president of Solar Energy Services. Business is good in the solar industry, and we're currently hiring and training new installers. We also need experienced project managers and drafting specialists to help meet demand and bring clean, renewable energy to homes and businesses in Maryland and Washington, D.C. After 40 years, we can attest to the fact that there's never been a better time to join the solar workforce than right now, especially at Solar Energy Services, where our on-the-job training will allow for rapid advancement for fast learners and emerging leaders. We're locally owned and operated. We have a great work environment and we offer competitive pay and benefits. And we like to hire for the long term because we believe our employees are our greatest assets. So be sure to apply today at solarsaves.net or call 410-923-6090 because sunshine's a wasting. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. Going out? You need the most up-to-date local weather. Here's George Young from DMV Weather in Annapolis with today's forecast. Hey everyone, this is George with DMV Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Thursday, January 2nd. Happy New Year to all across the Annapolis region and beyond. Yesterday was a chilly but bright and sunny start to the new year, and today will be equally as nice with a mixture of sun and clouds and slightly warmer temps in the 48 to 55 degree range for highs with much less wind as well. But clouds will roll in late, and rain will follow shortly thereafter, likely starting sometime after midnight and lasting off and on throughout much of the day on Friday into Saturday as well with highs each day in the 50s before skies clear again late Saturday throughout Sunday and chilly highs of 40s return along with sunshine on Sunday to round out the weekend as sunshine and 40s are expected then for at least the first half of next week as well. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DMV Weather. Make it a great day out there and be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching for DC and the VA Weather in the Apple or Google App Stores. And also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and on our website at dmvweather.com so you can always stay weather-informed. Hello, friends. This is Brian Griffiths from RedMaryland.com, inviting you to the 2020 RedMaryland.com Leadership Conference, Saturday, January the 11th, 2020, at the Doubletree Hotel in Annapolis. Confirmed speakers include Congressman Andy Harris, Commerce Secretary Kelly Schultz, Transportation Secretary Pete Ron, Senator J.B. Jennings, Senator Steve Hershey, Senator Justin Reedy, Delegate Nick Kipke, Delegate Kathy Shalega, Delegate Lauren Arakan, WBAL Radio's Andrew Langer and Jerry Rogers, Maryland Federation of Republican Women President Diana Water, Maryland Young Republicans Chairman Maria Sophia, Lauren Boatley from the Maryland Right to Life, and so much more. Tickets are available at redmarylandconference.com. Sponsorship opportunities and vendor tables are also available. That's redmarylandconference.com. Don't miss out on your opportunity to attend the redmaryland.com leadership conference Saturday, January the 11th in Annapolis. Once more, buy your tickets now at redmarylandconference.com. Every week, makers, crafters, and educators hold events all over the area. Highlighting some of those, here's our Makers Minute, brought to you by Annapolis Makerspace. 
Hey, this is Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. Well, welcome to 2020. Hope everyone had a good new year and a happy holidays. This year, we're starting off with Ray of Light Studios. On Tuesday, they're doing an alcohol ink and collage class, a fun art class where you can lose yourself through the color and flow of the inks. Explore how the ink's colors expand as you paint each dye, then cut it up and redesign your piece through collage. Then on Wednesday, they're doing a Girls with Graphite again. This is the first of four sessions where girls who love to doodle and draw can learn to take their drawings to the next level, making them sharper, cleaner, and more realistic. Learn how to use line, shading, and grayscale, as well as the art of class critique and what it takes to support one another as young artists. This week at Art Farm, on Friday, they're doing Eat This Poem, a teen open mic night. Art Farm is hosting a teen open mic night for all teen poets out there, a night of fun and sharing in a welcoming and safe environment. On Tuesday, Art Farm is doing an adult drawing class again. This is the first of a four-week beginner class where you'll learn the basics, from materials to how to loosen up with simple shapes and gestures, and finally to completing your first finished drawing of still life for ages 15 and up. Also on Tuesday, they're doing a What's Dope open mic night, hip-hop and spoken word open mic goodness. This week at the Anne Arundel County Public Library System, Saturday at Mountain Road is their Magic the Gathering Club. Stop by the library and learn how to play Magic the Gathering meet other magic players. On Monday in Glen Burnie is their Maker Monday. Kids can de-stress after school with different crafts, games, and activities each month. This month, they're creating a wish chest. Fill a little chest with dreams for the new year. When you need inspiration, your wish chest will be there. And finally on Wednesday in Crofton is their Nature Explorers Club. Get a close-up look at a small piece of our world by joining the Nature Explorers Club. Each month, they'll investigate an aspect of our ecosystem through presentations, conversations, active games, and hands-on activities for ages 7 through 11. And finally, this week at Annapolis Makerspace, tonight is our regular electronics open night, but we're also doing a Getting Started with Raspberry Pi workshop. If you have a Raspberry Pi or are curious about what's involved in setting one up and what you can do with them once you do, drop by and join the discussion. Tomorrow, we have another laser training and refresher workshop. For our members interested in training on our laser cutter and engraver, or anyone interested in learning about laser cutters, and Wednesday is our regular weekly woodworking open night. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Meetup to keep up on everything that's going on with us. And you can find links to all of these events at our website at makeitapolis.org. And whether you're making art, software, sawdust, or just a mess, chances are you're already a maker. This has been Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. When a ring from the United States Naval Academy comes into Zachary's for a center stone, it always makes us wonder, where's this one going? Where's this one been? A nuclear sub in the North Atlantic? A carrier deck in the South Pacific? The moon? 52 astronauts are Academy graduates, from Iwo Jima to Okinawa, Corregidor to the Coral Sea, Midway to the Persian Gulf, Congress to the White House. These rings go where America goes. 73 that went to war were awarded the Medal of Honor. But wherever they go, wherever they may serve, our admiration goes with them. Zachary's. Online at Zachary'sJewelers.com. More than a jewelry store, a jeweler. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis. And also tell them about our website, eyeonannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. This podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 7 a.m., keeping you informed with the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. And take a moment to listen to our other podcast, The Maryland Crabs, released every Thursday at noon.